Hello everyone and happy holidays! Welcome back to another episode of Baking with Becca with yours truly. This episode features a fudge recipe that is both vegan and relatively guilt-free for this holiday season. This recipe is very quick to whip together, super tasty, and I think you'll all really enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. Here's the list of ingredients you'll need to make this recipe. Don't worry about writing them all down now, they're posted along with the video. To begin this recipe, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. When it's finished preheating, toss your almonds on a baking tray and bake until lightly toasted. Don't forget to stir them about halfway through. It should take about 10 minutes. Next, grab your 9x5 pan, spray it with baking spray, and add your parchment paper to the bottom. The spray just helps the parchment paper stick a little bit so that it doesn't float back up. Try to get your fingers all the way to the corner and fold up the sides of the parchment paper so that they're not sticking out into the middle. It'll make it easier to add your fudge in later. Now that our pan is all prepped, we can move on with the rest of the recipe. First things first, grab your food processor or blender and add half of a ripe avocado. Yes, you're adding avocado to a fudge recipe. I promise you won't regret it. Next up is our maple syrup. You're going to need a third cup of that. Next up is one third cup of creamy almond butter. This lends for a wonderful nutty flavor for our fudge. Now you'll want to pulse the mixture and mix for as long as it takes to get it completely smooth. You don't want any sinews from the avocado or chunks from the almond butter. While that's getting all blended, go ahead and melt your chocolate in 20 second bursts in the microwave until completely smooth. Let it cool just slightly. Our first round of mixing is now done and it should look nice and creamy like this. Go ahead and add in one tablespoon of cocoa powder and a half teaspoon of salt. Now you'll need two tablespoons of ice cold water. This is to help the avocado from going brown and to help the fudge set. Pulse that together again until completely combined, then we can add in our slightly cooled chocolate. Then you guessed it, pulse it together one last time until totally and utterly smooth. Get every last bit of it and scrape that into your prepared pan. Then we can top it with our toasted almonds and our flaky sea salt. Chill it for one hour so that it's ready to set and cut. When your hour's up, cut them into whatever size pieces you want and dip the bottoms into some cocoa powder. Then you're ready to enjoy. Now that our fudge is all cooled and cut and dipped in a little bit of cocoa powder, it's ready for tasting. Let's try it. When I was cutting into it, it felt super soft, which is a good sign, but it still holds together. Also a good sign. Yep, that is so good. The texture is perfectly soft and just melts in your mouth. Mmm. And the nutty flavor from the almond butter and the almonds on top is just the perfect mix with chocolate. It makes it nice and rich and you cannot taste the avocado at all. The sponge is seriously so good, you guys. Mm. The fact that you can eat it without feeling as guilty is kind of nice too. Happy holidays again, and have a great rest of your day.